Part 2. Selection and Use of Resources and Materials. Unit 22. Consulting Reference Resources to Help in Lesson Preparation. How do we consult reference resources? Reference resources cover language and teaching materials like dictionaries, grammar books, methodological literature in teachers' magazines, and accompanying teachers' books. Key Concepts and Reasons for Using These Resources Checking Grammatical Structures Grammar books for learners help identify essential information about grammatical structures. They provide suitable ways of describing or explaining grammar. Look at the examples and their advantages. Anticipating learners' difficulties. Reference materials on learners' errors aid in anticipating language issues by comparing L1 and English differences. New approaches and activities. Supplementary materials boost lessons with grammar, vocabulary, and skills, while teachers' resource books offer lesson ideas and materials with clear indexes. Many free websites provide teaching articles. Using coursebook materials. Teachers' books offer adaptable suggestions for effective coursebook use, with alternative planning options and exercise explanations. Unit 23. Selection and use of coursebook materials. Coursebook materials, part of a package including students' and teachers' books, audio, video recordings, workbooks, and sometimes CDROMS or web materials, are used in language teaching. Teachers choose materials based on a needs analysis that considers learners' levels, language needs, and interests, forming a class profile. Key Concepts Coursebook materials, including books, recordings, and online resources, are essential for language teaching. Teachers select materials after analyzing learners' levels, needs, and interests to create a class profile. If the answer to any of these questions presented is no, then we have to do substitute or modify coursebook content to match another resource's focus suitable for learners. The coursebook provides the core content for a lesson with personalized material from the teacher or learners. When planning lessons, consider the coursebook's content and additional resources, such as Coursebook provides situation-slash-context, pictures, dialogues, and texts, and tasks and exercises. Teacher can provide additional warmer, instructions, role-play, and homework tasks. Unit 24. Selection and use of supplementary materials and activities. Supplementary materials are extra resources, like skill-building tools, grammar and vocabulary practice, communicative activities, and teacher resources. They can also originate from authentic sources like newspapers, articles, videos, and so forth. Read carefully the advantages and disadvantages of different kinds of supplementary materials like class library of readers, skills practice books, teacher's resource books, websites, video, language practice books, electronic materials, and games. Selection of supplementary materials and activities. Familiarize yourself with available supplementary materials at your school. Consider how they enhance or substitute for coursebook content. Use authentic material, ensure it matches learners' levels, and meet their language needs for listening, speaking, and writing tasks. Unit 25. Selection and use of aids. How do we select and use aids? Aids in the classroom are resources like recorders, projectors, visuals, realia, and the teacher. We choose them based on the lesson's main and subsidiary goals. Key concepts look at the following list of classroom equipment. What other teaching purposes can you think of for each item? All of these aids can be used for many different purposes. Some examples of these purposes are on the next page. Let's explore the following resources. Realia, like tangible objects or texts like menus or timetables, enhance vocabulary, grammar practice, dialogues, games, and quizzes. Flashcards are versatile for teaching words or prompting grammar practice. Puppets are great for teaching young learners through puppet dialogues, and children can create their own. Charts are for displaying detailed images, phonemic symbols, diagrams, tables, and story sequences on classroom walls. They help with pronunciation and vocabulary. Teachers can use gestures, expressions, mime, and signals like finger correction to convey meaning, clarify, and prompt learners.